vacation and there was a family picture taken but you missed out you were talking to your girlfriend on the phone so how do you merge one person or Photoshop one person into another image these pictures were taken from Flickr under the Creative Commons license from Ed Jordan and Steve Poliak check out their profiles on Flickr so the first thing we have to do is to get the picture we want into the other picture so I'll just do a quick selection with the lasso tool or press L and draw around what I want to take go to edit copy go to your new image and edit paste now we have this guy in with this family I'll move him with the move tool and he'll go about here I'll just do a rough estimate he's a little bit bigger so I'll have to resize him control T and when you resize you should make sure you hold down the shift button if you don't you can end up changing the size like this and get it all warped out of size if you do that you have to press the undo button and then press control T again and resize it so you'll just have to eyeball this about there perhaps is the right size press on the check when you're done now to get him looking like he's part of this image we have to block out this outside around here when he's not sitting on white or on some very easy to isolate background uh, we have to do this manually to do that you can press the mask tool make sure you're on the layer we're with our new person and press the button here for isolate and select the brush now we're going to be brushing out all this background and on black and white select a fairly small brush and zoom in to at least 100 percent press control alt 0 to zoom into 100 percent this image is from the net so it's not very large I'll do it on a larger scale first I'm just gonna be brushing the background which is brushing on this layer mask if you don't know how layer masks work check out a tutorial on those and we're gonna brush all the way around this person to totally isolate them so they're the only thing left on this layer so I'll zoom in here and while we're doing this let's speed things up a little bit and give our dreamy-eyed friend a little cool funk to listen to So there we have him fairly well isolated. I'll put him into position a little better. You can see he's perhaps a little too big still. So I'll shrink him again, control T and grab the corner with a shift. Now there's a couple reasons why he looks like he's plopped on top of the other guys. One could be this bag here is coming in front of them and obvi most obviously the light color tones are different. This background image is pretty dark so I'll correct the curves in there. If you want to find more information about how curves work uh, you can look for a tutorial on that now if I'm gonna add a curves here I want it just to affect this here top layer so I'm gonna hold down the alt key while I click and press on curves and then here I can use previous layer to create clipping mask so this curves layer is only gonna affect this layer that's underneath it if I go crazy here it just affects that image of the new guy now it looks like they're a little more red so I can go into the red and bring this curves up a bit to increase the red in that guy and he looks also a little more saturated so I'm gonna add hold down the alt key again click here hue saturation click on the use previous layer as clipping mask and we can see we have a hue saturation that only affects this layer and I'm gonna bring that down a little bit for him and I'm also gonna go into the curves again and bring down his blue you just have to play with this a little bit to try figure out the color values that are correct with the rest of the image it looks about okay if I click on this layer with my new guy I can maybe snuggle him in a little bit to make him look like he's part of the group how about we put his leg behind her leg to do that I'll click on my layer mask again make sure it's selected and then with the brush key 
bring her leg in front and this bag will put it behind this guy here. If you want to paint back what you masked out you compress the X key and that flips this black and white uh, which flips what you're painting with on the mask. If you paint with white you bring back the mask if you paint with black you create the mask. And one more thing we can do is I'll create a layer in between the background layer and my new guy, blank layer. And again, I'm going to use the brush with black. And I'm going to change the opacity to 20%. Or you can change it up here. I just pressed the 2 key to jump to 20. And I'm going to brush a little bit and create some shadows underneath this guy. I chose 20% so it affects the image quite slowly. And we should actually maybe put a little shadow back here too. So I'm going to create another shadow layer on top. This is going to go on top of everything. And to make this only affect our new guy, I can click on this layer mask we have already. And then with this shadow layer selected, I can press the layer mask it automatically masks with what was selected so we have an automatic mask for our shadow on this guy so that's getting pretty close if you were if you wanted to make it look perfect you could go into these edges here and create a little bit of detail you could perhaps bring up the lighting uh, these two a little more but essentially that is the way to do it alright check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com